Hello guys and welcome to episode 27 of the Pokemon Go Nuzlocke. In today's episode, we're going to be continuing and using the Ice Path stuff. I'm going to go on this back to back, so this guy's going to say... Oh, it's Cameron. I thought this is the Waterfall guy. Actually, this would be a perfect thumbnail picture. I just want to put this out. Yes, I would like my picture taken. Alright, then get yourself ready. Perfect thumbnail picture? Perfect. Can I take it like a screenshot? Safe state. Okay, well, I can't take screenshots, but we got a nice picture. You can see all your pictures on your PC. That'd be useful for later. Thank you very much. Okay, let's try to do this as well on my first try. Then we go over here. We go over here. We go over here. Did I? Did I just do that? What? That puzzle took me years when I used to play this game all the time. Uh, we need to go over here, we need to go over here, over here, over here. Dude, this ice puzzle is so easy. I should have continued this in the last episode. And now I feel embarrassed of, like saying that I was chill about this thing. I'm a puzzle master. He's going to say, oh, you, the item you picked up, it was an HM, isn't it? Wasn't it? I'm still tired, by the way. It tiredness does not go back, um, go away in back-to-back -back recording. I'm the one who dropped it, but I want you to keep it. You took the time to get it anyways. Yep, the time. It contains water. I'm high fun climbing waterfalls. Me? I still need a new pills of shoes before I enjoy waterfalls. Makes sense, son, dude. Makes sense. I think you also need some... I don't know. Nope. Not I've been in the old guy. He, he's a nice guy. He said I can keep his item that I stole from him. Uh, now nah, this is a puzzle. It's a big boulder, but Pokemon we may push it aside. You want to use strength? Indeed, I do, good sir. Indeed, I good. Indeed, I good. Indeed, I good. Now, if I go over here, I can definitely push it like this. If I push it the other side, I have to go around to do it. And well, that's too much work for someone like me. I'm good, triple. I would put on a repel, just want to point this out. But I want to encounter a shiny jinx, which I'm 99% sure you can get in this cave. And if I can get a shiny jinx, that would be dope. I love how in every episode I say I want a shiny Pokemon, but I never get the shiny Pokemon. My first shiny Pokemon is not going to be in the game. Dope. Or an unnatural, like official, like on official hardware. Like how do I know if it's an official or not? Maybe my them are just in, inaccurate and just different RNG timings and stuff. I have to push it like this. Okay. I my eyes went like right up and once I realized I could destroy this entire puzzle by moving down. That would border one more down. Talking about eyes, um, I'm thinking about getting a webcam. I know no one wants to see my ugly face, but no one wants. To hear my ugly voice, so why not double that? You yeah, know why? No, 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 why? I think a camera would be a great addition to my setup, and it would add some kind of production value, like higher production value, even though it's literally just a webcam addition to my team thing. And I used to do webcam let's plays all the time, and I enjoyed it like webcam mics and everything. And back then, I actually didn't have an official mic, so I had like a little headset going in my face back when I actually had like a headset before that it was only my computer mic my laptop mic there we go which is what's terrible but what was more terrible the static came in from my um webcam mic it was honestly terrible and then I push that over and then I can do it this puzzle's stupid I hate it I hate puzzles this is Zubat. Thank you for appearing and thank you for getting. I'm um, throwing a repel and I'm not gonna get a Jinx Munch that's a shiny Pokemon. If I encounter a shiny Pokemon with my PR, that means it's faith. And faith just is better than luck. And that's repel. I don't wanna put another potion. Repel up. Imagine being awake while you're this. 
But this is how it is uploaded, by the way. Um, I need to make sure that uploads, we edit this and everything. I think the thumbnail is literally just going to be me in the ice cave with my Pokemon team. Okay, I feel I did everything correctly. Oh, we can get item. We can get Moat Mash Potion. Wait a minute, is this where you get Ice Beam? Well, that's obviously how you do it. Yeah, obviously how you do it. How do I do this? Okay, now you're gonna see me struggle. You wanna see a man struggle? This is how you watch a man struggle. So I go down here, I go down. Okay, well, that was easier than expected. Imagine being bad at puzzles. It's just, just, it comes natural to me. Being amazing at puzzles. Talking about being amazing stuff, I did my first show smack. I did my first shell jump in Mario Bros. 3. Are you guys a wall? I was pretty proud of it. I was playing, I've been playing a lot of Mario 3. Um, I want to get into Kaizo stuff in Mario 3 because I do want to play Mario Mingle, which I have to improve on. And I realize I have the skill to actually improve my gameplay. I just don't put the time and effort into it. So I've been putting it in. And funny thing is, is I enjoy Kaizo games a little bit more than uh, regular Mario games, which... I wonder why that's the case. Like, Avalanche! Actually, can't Nidoqueen learn Avalanche? That would actually be a pretty good move to teach um, to Nidoqueen. Uh, I know you can learn Blizzard, which is dope. Avalanche, there we go. They probably can learn Dragon Pulse too, but... We have options, we have options. It depends on my team looks. Like, if my team looks good, I won't give it to, to my... Needle Queen, but if my team option looks bad by the time I get those, so none of my Pokemon like leveled up or anything, probably gonna give Teach Needle Queen Avalanche and just try to win the game easily. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You need to use Strength, thank you. Yes, I wanna use Strength. But yeah, I, I really enjoy Kaizo, like, Kaizo games more than like the original game. I was playing S SMW with my Mac, and even though that I haven't done any Kaizo tricks yet in that game, and I don't know if I could. How? Oh, I wasn't pushed to push it down all the way. Uh, I want to get the item. My repel will off. It's showing me that I should stay and get the item. Which gets what I'm doing. I'm getting the item. Got 100% this entire area. Imagine posting a five minute video. Because I literally thought this was... If you guys saw my sea foam island video. Um, from the blue nose lock. Which I don't recommend checking out. Tailbow serious. Um, I really hate how that was done. I really wish I had a colored emulator, but I had I did what I had to do to get color and I wanted a blue color and yeah. I did what I had to do. Um it came out worse than I expected, but sometimes you have to take risk in life. I think I actually need to go one down. Yeah thanks. I think no, I need to go one up and then just automatically go down. And now I can't push it back up, which is dope. I have to go back out. What? Oh, I was talking Kaizo. Right? Um, I enjoy Kaizo games. Way more than the original games, by the way. Like, I don't know if I'm weird or just something like... It's wrong with me, but every time I play Mario Bros. 3 and Mario World... Well, Mario World, definitely. Uh, Mario World just doesn't appeal to me for some reason. I actually have no idea why. Like, you think it's a game that everyone loves. And it, I did that for an island. I thought this was helping being like a TM, maybe. Ice cream? Maybe. Uh, you know. Poison jab in the cave? I don't know. None of that. A protein? Got iron protein. Next thing I'm gonna find is calcium. Or carbos. Also, I believe you have to use hole to get to this item. No, you can't do that. Okay. I was like, can't you just go directly to the item? Huh. How do I do this? No, I don't do that. I go over here, maybe. I go over here, then I do over here, do over here. Bro! 
I never got this item, by the way. As, like, a kid, I have never gotten this item. I found it way too confusing. I'm a genius now. How does it feel like to have 200 IQ? Well, it feels amazing. It feels like... I say this as I don't know what to do now. That's why I went silent. I have to push off, right? So how do I get behind or back? Did you restart or something? Oh, well. I don't mind. Is that you, Edge? Tell me the truth. My sounds are the first in the eyes. My flip flops are quick closer to he. It's not after matter. Will you push my back? Yes. Oh, I thought I did like ram into her. I got you. like, slide. you're really kind. Thank you so much. You are welcome, random Kimogo number 5000. I know I should have gave her a voice, but. Am I really gonna give someone a voice? Well, you came through the ice path. You must be a real hot shot trainer. Thank you very much. I'm the hottest shot ever. And if you place that O with something, that's me. Perfect description. <laughs> then I, maybe. Say that a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna keep this a little bit more PG. <laughs> uh, but we made it. Don't really wanna have a love minute video. I mean, I, I did do a really short video before with Jasmine, but that was most because I didn't wanna continue or anything. Hmm. What do I do? Oh, I can encounter Daniel, right? Yeah, let me get an encounter Daniel. Do I really have to? Okay. I'm gonna get an encounter Daniel? Maybe try to take on Cleo's gym? I really don't know. I see death. That's what I see. Where's my chillin' Billy? I need my normal type Billy. Just going to dragon rage you and hope you don't explode. Please don't do the explosion. That's also just as bad. Also, I don't know if I caught Geo doing anything, but I'm gonna still catch it. Mostly because bad memory. Don't want to take risks. If I run away, I lose my counter. If I catch it, well, I'll waste Pokeball, but I can go into the Pokeballs and see if I caught a Geo dude. But we have caught the Graveler. That will evolve. Never evolved, so maybe we can find a Nevelite in this game. You know, that Generation 5 item that's not in this game. I realized that before I said that, but I just had to say it. Gravelor, the rock Pokemon with a free and uncurry nature. It doesn't mind if pieces break off while it's rolling down mountain. Wow, this Pokemon doesn't give anything about people. But we have... The, okay, I know we did because I know one I named Geoff, but... This is Gravel Evolves in Golem. I'm gonna name it Go. Ho. Ha 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 ha. There we go. Bad jokes. Must stay in my videos. Go Ho. You see, it's a pun, and I don't know why I did that. It kind of sounds like Go Ho, and that doesn't make sense. And I feel bad for making that that Pokemon's name, but I'm probably I think I'm 99% sure I call it Geo dude. That probably is illegal, and well, we're gonna find out now. If I can get into the Pokemon Center. Good morning. I'm welcome to the Pokemon Center. You can recess your tired Pokemon here. Thank you. I really need to do that first before I go check out my Pokemon mods and see if my encounter's legit or not. Or if I can re-encounter a Pokemon because already... That's dupes. I really, like, I'm really sorry about this, like, being a really short episode, but... There's nothing I could do. I literally thought Ice Path was gonna take me a good episode. Oh, I named it Gia. Too female. Do I really want to keep this? I'm gonna go see what. Okay. I'm gonna release that when I come back. And that's the only thing I can find in those stupid Pokemon. If I can't find no unique Pokemon, I'm gonna release it. But I definitely can find like a unique Pokemon. Also, I have to check on the map real quick. Actually, this might re encounter um, the same area. This map looks amazing. Yeah, I found an encounter on Route 46. I thought it said Victory Road, and I was like, that's not Victory Road. I can tell you that's not Victory Road, because the Victory Road is right next to us. 
But come on. Give me Pokemon. Item. Actually, you know what? Well, we got an encounter. I was actually going to battle some of the trainers down now. We found a new, another Geo, dude. A Nether Geo. Yep. English. Hard. Imagine me being able to speak quickly. Imagine me not having a speech disorder. Imagine that. A word that doesn't exist is a perfect word. Dash that guy from Generation 4. I don't know what his name is. Team Galactic Boss. I want to say Cypher, but I know that's not correct. Also, the only thing we can find on this mountain is gravel. I am convinced of this. Also, I'm 99% sure we can get. Oh, there's a train up there. I really want to battle all the trainers on this route, but. Dude, I love Dolphin. I have never used a Dolphin on in a, Nuzz a Let's Play before. Actually, I don't use Dolphin that often. I'm Dragon Rage in this. Don't get a crit Dragon Rage. A crit Dragon Rage. Imagine a game we live in. Okay, how about you don't do that? I, I, I dislike it when you do that. But dude, I'm definitely using a Fanfy over um, a Farfetch. I'm being honest here. So. Fanfy Dolphin, definitely one of my favorite Generation 2 Pokemon. Like, I, I forgot they exist until I see them. I'm like, I love these Pokemon line. Oh, did you see the, um, that that leak? I might do like a video about it. I want to do a video, also another video, um, looking at the Sword and Shield map and like piecing stuff together. Like from stuff we already know. And theorizing stuff. But we have Fanfy, the long nosed Pokemon. It swings its long snout around playfully. But it because. But. Imagine being able to say stuff correctly. Fanfy, the long nosed Pokemon. It swings its long snout around playfully. But because it is so strong, that can be dangerous. What a fantastic description to a female Fanfy that evolves into. I want to name it Daphne. You know. Bella. I'm gonna name it Bell. Bell Daphne. Is it Bella? Belly, but I'm gonna name it Bell on all caps. Just, just I'm gonna call it Bathwater. I'm gonna name it Bath. You know why? No reason. Okay, I'm going to check what she has for this. What do you keep buying me? But we have a fan fee. We're definitely replacing that with Steve. We have two ground types. I'm gonna do randoms, not tailball. You can't use slow hill. Why? Totally didn't think girls could fly. I love that show Mount Silver off in the background on the map. That's really cool. That's one thing I really like about Sword and Shield. It has like the environment of other cities like in the background. Um, I know it's a small improvement. A lot of games have already done that, but my expectations for, for Sword and Shield are slow. And that's probably why I'm really not happy. It's just not surprised. But I really want to see what this fanfy has real quick before I go check my items. And definitely didn't forget about it. Also, let's release this. Go for. Go, go ho. You was useful for five seconds. It's joy! I wasn't have admin. But it has. Oh, take down draw and natural gift. But it has pickup. Which is totally useful. I'm actually definitely replacing that. Um, actually, I know. I'm not going to replace it on my team just yet. Um, I want Helia to get levels, and then maybe I'll replace it. I definitely think it would be useful for the level 4. Because it's just a bulky Pokemon, a bulky physical attacker that gets Earthquake, I believe, from level up. But, yeah. We've actually extended this episode to my regular episode, but by not extending it, we just did stuff. Not anything, but we did stuff. I have a package from your mom. Here you go. Walking berries. Useful. Thank you, mom. Thank you. Holy cow. We look forward to your next visit. I'm 99% sure my mom called me inside Ice Cave, but, oh, that's it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy this video, well, go swing with you. We did nothing, but you can like it. Um, if you hated this, you are, you are sane and press the dislike button. And, well, if you made it to the end, you obviously enjoyed this video somewhat, or you thought something was actually going to happen. So, maybe in the next episode, we'll do something, or maybe you have more content to enjoy. So, press the subscribe button to be notified. But thanks for watching and goodbye.